All right, so lunch with the endorsement. I wanted to film this because I tried to think in my brain. Other, no, I don't even think, I don't think I've ever, when is the last time? I don't know. I haven't had a burrito from Chipotle. It might be eight years. Yeah, it might be eight years. Anytime they come out with a new meat, I go with the bowl because the bowl is the better deal. Everyone knows that. At my local uh, Chipotle, $9.10 for a bowl or a burrito chicken. It goes up when you get the different meats. But $9.10, whenever they come out with a different meat, I review it in a bowl. So right here, I have about a 35-pound burrito. And I didn't even ask them to do anything more to it. I didn't say a little more. They were heavy handed today and I appreciated that. That's the back of the bag. That's Chipotle. Cue the intro. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. Now, I already endorsed Chipotle. The bowls have been good. I love their burritos. I am on record as saying that the bowls at Chipotle here, then they're uh, better than uh, Qdoba and Moe's, but I prefer, at least in my head, the um, burritos from uh, Qdoba. They're number one, and then Qdoba's queso, something like that is number one compared to the three. So this is normally number two, and I did get, because I'm used to it, I got the uh, honey vinaigrette. That's a game changer on a uh, bowl. If you didn't know, now you know. But this thing, it's a chicken burrito, $9.10. <laughs> was savage. And I've been seeing, I always see these, but they're so expensive. I think this was like $250, $275, something like that. Is it pronounced Izzy? Sparkling Grapefruit right there I got an Izzy <laughs> let's go all right but you didn't come for that you came for the C look at this Chipotle chicken this thing it's a brick it is a literal brick of possible Chipotle burrito goodness look at this oh I don't how much does this weigh look at this I got a bunch of stuff in this <laughs> and I'm gonna eat it. Let's check it out. All right, I got the thumbnail and um, shout out Burlington Sock Puppets. Shout out Jess, super subscriber Jess, hooked me up uh, a little while ago. And I told her, I said, I'm gonna be wearing it in a video today because I have so many, I think I'm up to like 53 hats and I try to rotate them. I try to match a little bit, try to match a little bit with what colors I got going on. I got the uh, blue to the blue. It is what it is. All right, here we go. A chicken a burrito. Rice, no beans, lettuce, cheese, sour cream, corn, a little bit of salsa, and call it a day. $9.10. Now, that's a huge burrito, but I still do believe that the bowl is the better deal because you get the bowl, and I always get a couple of the small tortillas on the side and make my own little, like, tacos, and uh, you could get the effect of the burrito, uh, kind of uh, burrito-esque, taco-esque, uh, but then you get uh, the whole bowl. So there we go. This looked so good. Like I said, she was just, she was scooping. All right, wish me luck. Oh yeah, I got the veggies too. Mm. Take a look. Yep. That's really good. Packed with ingredients. One o'clock, first thing I've eaten all day. I take that back. I might have filmed a little breakfast. Might have filmed a little breakfast video this morning, but I didn't eat much of it. No spoilers. But one more look at the way it should be done 
every time. And a lot of people will say, oh, you can order uh, Chipotle online. So you don't have to wait in line. You just order it, go in. I don't trust them to pack it like this or pack a bowl the way they should pack a bowl when I'm just ordering it online and going to pick it up. I want to oversee it. And I don't get too crazy. I'm not one of those uh, customers. But if I do see that they're light-handed with a couple of things, I'll say, oh, can I get a little more of this or a little more of this? And uh, they always do it. And they're probably cursing me under their breath. Let me take another bite. But this is packed, has a great flavor. Should I pour some of this on the next bite? I'll pour that on the third bite, second bite. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Am I the only one out there that doesn't put beans on their uh, burrito? I'm just not a huge fan of the beans. I like refried beans in a burrito or a taco, something like that, uh, but not so much uh, the beans with the texture, just having like straight up brown or uh, what's the other option, black beans. All right, so the honey vinaigrette right here, a little pour action on that bite right there. All right, third bite. Mmm. That vinaigrette that they normally just sell with their uh, salads. And to me, a bowl is a salad. I always get two of them with the bowls. It just adds a flavor profile to this. Puts it over the top. Puts it over the top. All right, let's put this down. We'll take a sip of the uh, Izzy or the Iz. I'm going to guess it's pronounced Izzy. There you go. Let's see what this is all about. I think I had this many, many uh, moons ago. Let's go. Oh, that's refreshing. Yeah. Very uh, fresh uh, tasting uh, grapefruit. I don't know what that was with my lip. But listen, I got to finish this. This is my lunch. I wanted to take you along for the ride, mainly because it looks so good. But also, it might be eight years since I had a burrito. And this one, you know, is giving me hope that I should revisit it from time to time because this thing is a monster for $9. I'm going to have a couple more bites, save the second half for later, and call it a day. Call it a day. Thank you so much for joining me. Do I need to give it a rating? I wasn't planning on it. I just wanted to spend some time with you, have lunch, experience a burrito for the first time in a while. But that's a 92. This is probably as good as it gets size-wise, $9.10 as well. Not going to frown on that, uh, especially nowadays, under $10.00 with this amount of food. Yeah, that's the rating and I'm sticking to it. So yeah, there you go, another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, what are your thoughts on um, the three main burrito spots, the chains, Qdoba, Moe's, and uh, Chipotle? Uh, what is your rankings? Do you think one does another thing better than the other, kind of like I do? And do you ever get this honey vinaigrette on anything you get over at Chipotle? Because if you don't, put me on your Christmas card list because after you try it. Mm. No brainer. No brainer.